Hey everyone, Daniela here, and thank you for joining us for your weekly dose of inspiration, education, and encouragement. Today's blog is a little different format than we usually do, and that's because I want to walk you through a hydrofacial treatment. The hydrofacial is a great treatment for many reasons, but I especially love it for extractions and for that dewy glow that you're left with post-treatment. This is a treatment that I always recommend for my patients that have an event that, they go, that they're going to or something that they just wanna look really great for. What you're watching right now is Sam from Bellisante performing a hydrofacial treatment on me. So when I explain the hydrofacial treatment to my patients, I tell them that it's similar to a wet microderm abrasion. It's using chemical and mechanical exfoliation to exfoliate the skin while infusing nutrients at the same time. Now to the patient, it's all going to feel the same, sort of like a cat's tongue going across the skin. But what we're doing as the esthetician, the one performing the treatment, is changing the serums that are being infused into the skin. So let me walk you through that process. You wanna start with clean skin, so you'll do a manual cleanse to begin. Once you've completed the manual cleanse, you'll turn on your machine and choose the appropriate vortex fusion settings. Each serum is going to have a safe range of settings based on your patient's skin type and concerns. The Active 4 is the first serum that's used for the deep cleanse of the skin. It contains lactic acid and glucosamine and algae to hydrate and exfoliate the skin through this deep cleansing process. Next up is the Glycol Prep, which is a 7.5% glycolic and a 2% salicylic. And that's really to provide a light chemical peel. Now you have two more aggressive options for this step available. There's a 15% glycolic with a 1.5% salicylic and also a 30% glycolic with a 1.5% salicylic. Once you've completed the Glycol Prep, you move on to extractions with the Beta HD. So the Beta HD is a serum that has salicylic acid and honey. So again, notice how all of these serums have a hydrating component as well as an exfoliating component. And this is actually my favorite step in the treatment because you're able to make significant progress with extractions, much more than you could do manually or even with an extractor, but you're doing this without the pain. We all know that for the patient, extractions are not the most enjoyable part of the treatment, especially for men who tend to be a little more sensitive. What I've found time and time again is that I can do a significantly better job cleaning up the congestion, specifically in the T-zone, with the hydrofacial compared to traditional methods. Now, I should note that I'm speaking specifically about congestion, not about pustules. After the extractions, you've got a couple of booster options. So these are typically upgrades to the treatment. Option one is the Derma Builder, which is a peptide complex. Option two is Brightenol, which has alpha arbutrin and vitamin C to address pigmentation. And option three is CTGF, which is a growth factor serum. And it's actually my favorite add-on and the one that we chose to do in the treatment that you're watching. So, up to this point, excluding the booster options, our primary function has been deep cleansing, extractions, and exfoliation. Now we're going to deeply infuse the Antioch 6, which is a hyaluronic acid-based serum with vitamin A, vitamin E, horse chestnut extract, rosemary extract, and white tea extract. It's filled with hydrating and nourishing ingredients and this is what the step that you don't want to skip on because it's going this is what's going to give your patient that dewy glow that they're just absolutely going to love so remember our skin is like a sponge and once it's fully saturated it just it simply can't absorb anymore so if you're spending too much time on the deep cleanse and extractions the skin will not be able to absorb all the good stuff in the antioxidant six and the patient may actually experience dry or itchy skin, which is completely the opposite of what we're looking for in this treatment. So once you've completed the Antioch 6, you have the option to use the red or blue LED light. I most often use the red since it helps calm the skin, which can become pink after the treatment. After the LED light, all you have to do is apply your finishing products and sunscreen and you're all set. 